Here's another question sent in by a student. If you find this video useful, a like would be super awesome, and don't forget to follow or subscribe to stay up to date with our future videos. Okay, let's do this question. So here is the question on my virtual whiteboard. It says, write 0 0.26 as a fraction, and give the answer in its simplest form. So there's two clear parts to this question. First part is we need to write 0 0.26 as a fraction. The second part, we need to simplify that answer. We've got to give it in its simplest form. So let's start with the first part, writing 0 0.26 as a fraction. So 0 0.26, to change any number into a fraction, all we do is we put it over 1. But we do not want a decimal in a fraction. So how can we get rid of it? Well, we've got to get rid of it by taking the decimal all the way to the end. Because a decimal at the end we can ignore. So how can we take the decimal to the end? What we can do is we can times this by 100. Because 0 0.26 multiplied by 100 is 26. And now it's got no decimal. But in fractions, there is a rule. The rule is, whatever you do to the numerator, you must do the same to the denominator. Whatever we do to the top, we got to do the same to the bottom. In this case, we're timesing by 100, so we have to times by 100. So 1 multiplied by 100 is 100. And that's the first part of the question done. We've turned 0 0.26 into a fraction. Now the second part says we need to give our answer in the simplest form. So we're going to simplify this. And we're going to use the same principle that whatever we do to the numerator, we must do the same to the denominator. So we're going to find a number that they both divide by. In this case, because they're both even numbers, we can divide them both by 2. So 26 divided by 2 is 13, and 100 divided by 2 is 50. And then we check, can we divide it again? In this case, we can't. So that 13 over 50 is in its simplest form, and that's the answer. And that is all it takes. Now, the two key skills that we learned in this question was one, converting decimals to fractions, and two, equivalent and simplified fractions. Now, if you want to learn any of these topics in a lot more detail, we offer one-to-one -one private tutoring. Visit our website, skittles.school, to book a free demo lesson. And if you found this video helpful, we'd really appreciate a like. And don't forget to follow or subscribe to stay up to date with our future videos. So, until the next one, keep learning and keep being awesome.